a very good morning and a happy diwali to you all i thought i'll make a short uh, video about dengue and its signs and symptoms because uh, dengue is a comparatively newer uh, vector borne disease uh, in comparison to malaria for this part of the country uh, that is karbianlong assam and the northeast uh, so the dengue virus is of uh, four strains that is dengue 1 2 3 and 4 and it is transmitted uh, through the bite of the female uh, aedes mosquito and what we need to uh, be careful or we should know is that this female aedes mosquito is more active during the daytime so uh chance of uh, transmission of the dengue virus is more during the daytime because of the bite of this mosquito also dengue virus like many viruses tends to uh, be more active in a very uh, narrow temperature range so whenever there is a sudden fluctuation change in temperature or uh, like you know bigger temperature fluctuation this virus this dengue virus tends to multiply faster tends to reproduce faster so like you all know these days uh, the weather has been very fluctuating here in karbianlo and assam uh, because um, the nights the evenings and the mornings are starting to get cooler and uh, the afternoons are still quite warm so because of this sudden and uh, big temperature change fluctuation this uh, virus is able to reproduce faster so now take a let's take a look at the signs and symptoms of uh, this dengue uh, fever so the number one a uh, symptom is high grade fever uh, which may or may not have chills there will be extreme headache there will be pain in muscles and joints and also a very characteristic symptom of dengue is that there will be pain behind the eye Uh, so we need to be uh, careful about that also there may be uh, rashes red rashes in many parts of the body also there would be loss of appetite there would be fatigue there would be vomiting so these are the signs and symptoms in 80 to 90% of the cases and uh, these are mainly treated with paracetamol but at the same time you need to uh, consult uh, your doctor as well as visit your nearest hospital uh now the ex- let's talk about the extreme form of dengue that is dengue shock syndrome and dengue hemorrhagic fever uh, but we need we don't need to be scared because this only happens in 5 to 10% of the cases 5 to 10% of the patients and uh, this mainly occurs in people who have previously been infected with dengue and uh, all the ex- all the symptoms would be aggravated all the symptoms would be extreme and uh, in case of dem- dengue hemorrhagic fever the platelet would fall to dangerously low level and that is when uh, blood transfusion would be required uh, for those of you who don't know platelet is an integral part of the blood which helps in the healing process of wounds so uh, in case of dengue hemorrhagic fever the platelet count reduces and in that case uh, the patient would have to be admitted to the hospital and be given uh blood transfusion so that more or less covers the main signs and symptoms of dengue uh the treatment mainly consists of paracetamol uh, taking a lot of uh, fluids oral fluids ors and uh, if hospitalization is required then maybe iv fluids would be required um so i would like to thank uh, our honorable uh, cem dr tulram ronghang and the em in charge health department that is mr surjo rongpar under whose leadership uh, a lot of preventive measures have been taken and a lot of measures have been taken to uh, contain this virus so that um, you know everything goes on smoothly in the district and i would also like to thank the doctors and the other officials of the health department who are working day and night uh, to make sure all of us are safe and to make sure uh, this virus is contained um so that it does not spread much but we as to, we as um, citizens we also need to be careful we need to wear full sleeve clothes uh we need to use mosquito nets 
we need to use uh, mosquito repellent creams as much as possible and uh, we also need to stop the breeding of this mosquito which mainly happens in standing still water so we need to make sure that uh, all uh, you know uh, places where water may be stagnant should be emptied so that this mosquito is prevented from breeding and uh, this concludes my short video hopefully uh, this was informative for uh, many of you uh, thank you